What's my charisma? What is my charisma now? It's like 20, is it? Yeah, 20. I am the most charismatic, scarred freak ever. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly squishy. I should probably be looking at the physical stats a bit now. I've All maxed right. everything up. No, let's not. That'll probably just get us into trouble. Oh, no, there's a thing back here that I could loot, I think. Let's head back. We have to start thinking about what... Like, I'm not entirely sure how to get back there. Like, if I go back to the map and go world map... We are... We're here, apparently. I'm really confused. I'm really, really confused. It's just a random drawbridge that doesn't go anywhere. Thing here is this an entrance or is this loot? Nothing useful. Now the shadow came from down this way. All right, this is another way around here, eh? Lem Lenny. Oh, oh, I thought it was Lemmy. Lemmy's a better name than Lenny. You see a feral-looking young man in shoddy clothes. His eyes dart about as he scans his surroundings. You notice as you approach him, he begins eyeing you warily. Greetings. He looks you up and down and glances about, returning his attention to you, gives you a wicked grin. Best of a good reason for disturbing Lenny, Burke. I have some questions. I ain't no town. If you've got questions, go find one. You best push off before I have to bleed you. Never mind. Is that another shadow? Yeah, I thought it might be. Charge! Charge faster! Building, building looks out of place. That's yeah. Coffin maker to the upper ward. Strange building appears to be a coffin maker's workshop. The sign above the door has the slogan "Engineered for Eternity." Ah, <laughs> uh, that makes sense. Uh, let's go to the upper ward. I don't know if that's where we need to go, but it'd be a bit. But it, it's going somewhere else. And it's progress. I said it's progress. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, I can just go anywhere, eh? Well, we've already... Ooh, so I could jump over there? We'd go to the clock's ward. And I've gained 20 health. I assume that's because I just travelled for so long. Diligence. What a name. The old, This older, stern-looking woman is clearly on her way somewhere. When she knows you approach, she studies you with a disapproving... Disapproving? Disapproving? Tight-lipped frown. Greetings. Yes. What is it? And watch your words, for I am Diligence, fourth magistrate of the ward. That's uh, something troubling about my appearance. You should mo I should most certainly think so. Should the Apparel Regulation Act be passed, people of your sort won't be permitted to traipse about in such a manner, half naked and filthy as you are. Um You're quick to judge one by their appearance, aren't you? You would tell me, then, that you are not a wanderer, meandering about the city, asking questions of all those you come across, engaging in more than the occasional combat to the death with those who cross you? That is untrue. No, um... Well... Fate's hint of sneer appears on your on lip. I am quick to judge, sir, because I am a magistrate by trade. I will waste no more time with you. Should you say another word, or so much as approach me again, I shall call the, the guard. Now, away with you. But, guards! Try and leave before anyone arrives. Right. Run! Yeah, I probably shouldn't have said but. I would speak with you a moment, okay? This thin, sharp-faced man rushes towards you, calling for your attention. Ah, sir, sir, a moment of your time. Were you, perchance, here to visit the tailor? Um, I were... Ah, yes, sir, because I seem to have uh, offended the man. I've commissioned the, the hot-blooded fool to make me a costume, but he's thrown me out of his shop and will not speak with me now. So what, what? What have I done to deserve such treatment? Nothing, I say. I was a patron. It, was, it is his duty to serve me. That churlish buffoon. What, what, what did you want from me? Eh? Oh, yes. Um, you. <clears throat> Could I beg of you to enter the place and fetch my costume for me, sir? 
I've a masquerade to go to and have not the time to commission another tailor. Why don't you just go for yourself? That poor sign loud, I somehow offended the po the puffy, pomp-filled jackanapes. He's forbidden me to enter his store and for you to, to have words with me. Imagine. I'll go and get it my now. Journal. I'm most excellent, sir. It is this very building right here. He points to the long, low structure just north of him. I oh, thank you, sir. We're about to get mugged, aren't we? I know. Let's go and have a chat with him. I'm gone. This short, heavy set middle aged man is wearing clothes that seem to be spun of glittering gold. In his hands, he holds a bolt of cloth strung taut across a wooden frame. He's currently embroidering some pattern into the fabric. Greetings. The man doesn't seem to acknowledge your presence. He continues to work at his embroidery, muttering under his breath. As he sews, shimmering motes of light seem to sparkle and drop from the tip of the needle. Uh, I said greetings. Good sir, did you hear me? The man does not look up. Uh... The man does not look up from his work, frowning distastefully as he answers you. Yes, yes, and I'm certain that, that what you need is truly quite urgent. Now, if you could be silent for just a moment. Then we'll wait quietly, we'll be patient. At last, he sets down the embroidery and looks up at you. Before you can speak, however, he suddenly picks up another item and sets to work on it. Again, as he works what looks to be tiny colored. We'll wait some more. He finally finishes his work, setting it down to examine you. Greetings, I'm Gon Goncalves. Now, what was it you were to see me about? I have some questions. Hmm? I hope it's about garments and the like. I shan't answer anything not concerning myself or the store, you know. Um, what were those lights while you were embroidering? That? Nothing, sir, but a bit of the art, which I at times weave into fabric when the fancy strikes me. Uh, those items which I lavish enchantments upon are my most special creations and are rarely sold. Well, what sort of magical clothes do you have available? Nothing that would fit you, that is for certain. I've got other questions then. Hmm. I'm just about garments. I wanted to pick up a dustman costume. You're in luck then, sir. I happen to have one available. It's copped. Is its cost is thirty copper commons. Okay, I'll take it. Here you are, sir. I'd warn you though, if this is for the upcoming masquerade of Lord Erd, many folk are already attending as dustmen. I'll keep that in mind. I don't know if I actually needed that. Uh questions. What sort of magical clothes? Oh, let's see what you have anyway. Jerkin of the Brazen Rogue, usable only by Anna. Oh, these are only for Anna. Okay. The Brazen Rogue is armor class 4, Thacko plus 1. Fitting Shadow, benefits to skill. Ooh. It's not as good in combat. And I can't buy both of them. I was just thinking, oh, I could just get both of them. Nah. Brazen Rogue is better in combat, which I'm not really using her abilities that much. Um, I mean, if I started using her more of a stealth kind of character, I have used it on occasion. I'm trying to be a bit more tactical. Um, so I've not put item in balance. I mean, I could buy both. I mean, I can't buy both at the same time. Which is why that's blacking out. Unless I can only buy one of them for the entire game, which is rather problematic. Oh, that's 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 concerning. I'll have to think about this. Which one is well, I think the Brazen Rogue is probably more likely to be useful long term. So I think we'll buy that one, and okay, so that's still there, so it might just be a money thing. Hmm? Armor class minus three. She's she is the best armor out of everyone. Is that because you've got bonuses here? No, they're all stuff. Okay. Yeah, she's probably now one of our best fighters. Which is rather interesting for a rogue. I assume you're going as a dustman, sir? Well? Well? 
Did you get the costume from Gunk Alves? Yes, here it is. It cost me 30 com comments. Updated my journal. Fine, fine. Take it. Here. It tosses you 30 copper comments. Now I'll be off. Uh, wait, wait. He did say many people were already going to this masquerade as Dustman. Did he? <sighs> Blast. I would hate to arrive in such a common costume. Could go and see if he has another ready. Not a bad idea. Not bad at all. Quickly, see if that portly can poop is another, would you? Updated my uh, journal. Probably doesn't. Or I'll have to wait for, for ages that anyway. Uh, I have questions. I want to pick up another different costume. Dustman bit seemed a bit too common after all, eh? Well, it just so happens that I have a Godsman costume if you would like. It should cost you only 50 comments. I'll take it. Uh, retrieve a set of followed clothes, heavy leather apron, and work boots from under a counter. Here you are, sir. Enjoy the masquerade. So I assume we get stuck with the Dustman costume. Where is he? Uh, did you get a costume from Gun Carves? Yes, here it is. It Updated comments. my journal. It's not just a costume from me. It's just 50 coins to cancel. Now I'll be off. Oh, well. I've just done some random quests. I think I've just done some random quests. Uh, yeah, okay. Right. right. So we're going to be around a bit more. It's dangerous down below. I wonder if he actually says it capitalized. Oh, that was the thing. I was going to talk to... What was it? Sensate in here? Is that a name? Or is that a thing? I don't know. I saw a name. Well, I saw a different name than Clarksworth Citizen. Run in the tailor shop. Please, sir, I have things to do. I'd appreciate you leaving me be if you'd be so kind. Ooh. Farewell. I'm gone. I open this. Will he? Will, will, I, will I be allowed to? Um. Okay. Go away, combat log. Okay. There's actually nothing in here. That is immensely disappointing. Oh, of course, it's a changing room. I like that. They've actually got it. They actually put that in. That's cool. All right. <laughs> so I assume we're going to have to go down there and have a fight at some point. Massive ancient looking structure is somehow less foreboding than others of its size. Celebash the Onyx. Do I have. Wow, I have. Oh, this seems to have shrunk. Um. Right. Massive ancient looking stru structure, somehow less foreboding than others of its size. Salabesh, the Onyx, will talk with this fellow. He looks like a wizard, he might be able to teach us thing things. This tall, thin man, dressed in heavy crimson robes, has sharp, pinched features. He bows regally as you approach him. I am Salabesh, often called Salabesh, the Onyx, future mage tutor for the Civic Fest Hall. You have business with me, I take it? Ah, uh, no, just some questions. About what, hmm? Not the ward and the like, I hope. Plenty of more common folk can answer such questions, and I'd just as soon direct you to one of them. Why are you called the Onyx? A long tale, which I shall shorten to save my breath. In my youth, I was once called Salabesh the Golden, for I was said to have a heart of gold, small, hard, and yellow. Well, I cursed the fool who sounded that, so that he could only speak <laughs> from his ass. And... Ew! 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 The Onyx appellation, along the same lines as a golden, though admittedly somewhat less clever, soon followed. In any case, I'm a much kinder fellow now, far less prone to laying curses and the like. I'm not certain if I deserve the name any longer. E yeah, okay, we'll go. Oh yes, you heard right. Sighs happily and chuckles to himself. That sort of thing is why I'm known as the master of the curses, you know. And other questions. Do you know of a, of a cursed man called Reekwind? Updated my journal. Reek! Hmm. Salabresh's eyebrows suddenly dart up. Oh, yes. Jumble murder sense cursed that man, if I rec rec recall correctly. Why? Seeking to get his curse undone? <laughs> Good luck. Only Jumble can do that, you know. And where would I find him? Within the civic, civic feast hall, I suppose. Short, portly fellow with a leering smile never speaks, so be hard-pressed to get anything out of him. 
Add another question. Why did you, what did you mean by future mage tutor of the Festival? Updated my journal. It is a prestigious position to be an official tutor in one of the Festival's training chambers. It's my intention to one day take the position of mage's tutor, but the title is currently in the possession of the Lady Thorncomb. If only I could somehow prove that I'd be a superior tutor. Thank you. Why are they calling for me? Like, so rah, some attention. The smell of alcohol wafts heavily from this young woman, and despite her dark skin, you can see that her face, beautiful but cruel looking, is flushed. She is slender but well muscled, adorned in exotic jewellery and translucent silk clothing. Numerous scars crisscross her thighs and forearms. They look to be from battle wounds. Greetings. Well, well, whatever we hear. A little trifling gutter queen come crawling out of the hive. The woman pouts, talking as one would a small child. Are you lost, little tiefling? Oh, look, it has a tail. How cute. Anna flushes him with a snarl, blade sprout from her fists. Now, fiendkin, don't do that. The woman seems unconcerned as Anna draws her weapons and clucks disapprovingly with her tongue. Careful now, or I'll remove that tail of yours and feed it to my dogs. Um... Enough, girl. Apologize. I don't want to threaten. Let her go, Anna. She isn't worth the trouble. You have a sharp tongue on your wee lass. Anna spits and sharpens her blades against each other. I wonder how to sweet your tacky jewels and harlot's calls will look on you when you're dead in the street. Anna, wait. You filthy spawn of the... You filthy spawn of the lower plains. Not even Tanari would keep in its pen. She draws her blade. Call for the guards. Let things happen as they will. I'm not entirely sure who the guards would side with is the problem, and I don't want to end up in a fight because I will side. I will. I will side with Anna. Should push come to shove. Call for the guards. She gasps in shock. You fool! Are you mad? The guards would never take your word over mine. You're obviously drunk. No scars of yours mark you as the fighting sort. You probably have a reputation for this sort of thing already. I think they just might. She stares hard at you, grinding her teeth. <sighs> Let us drop the whole matter then and be on our separate ways. Agreed. Farewell. All right. I wonder if I can talk to Anna about that. Hi. What is it you want then? Uh, ba -ba. nope. Just saying, you're still here. All right. I'm assuming this is the Sevic Feast Hall. Fest Hall. Uh, so. Ward, also known as Wankosetti. <laughs> oh dear, Anna. Right, we are going to head off at this point. Where well, I'm going to take the break, and uh, we're going to head into the Civic Fest Hall next time. We might be able to learn some new magic. Ooh. And yay. And um, other things in there, like learn a bit more about us, I think. Possibly, maybe. I don't know. I haven't worked that bit out. Um, I was thinking something else. Wait, I still, I still want to, I don't know if, do I have the magic word for this? I can't remember. If I do, then I'm going to try and use that on, on um, Ignis at some point. I keep thinking of doing that. Oh, oh no, they're coming back. All right. So we'll call it there, um, and yes, we have an idea of what we're doing next time, which is always good. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.